Hey everyone, welcome to Phantom Sound. I have two main passions in my life. Music and electronics. And in today's video I want to combine these two together to create electronic drums. I have this Arduino Pro Micro which can be easily used as a MIDI device uh, and I always wanted to do something interesting with it. Also I had quite a bunch of these vibration sensors and these cost like 35 cents so I thought it, I might try making electronic drums with those. Those are reacting to vibration and they are super cheap so potentially it could be a very very simple and budget drums. So I've connected it, tested it out and at the first stages it worked well because here is the vibration sensor, you're hitting the surface, you hear that it's shaking and it's working. So I switched to the full scale testing and created a drum set. Those were the problem started with these sensors because the whole stand was quite big and wobbly and as soon as you hit one drum all the rest of those started reacting. So I threw away this vibration sensors, I decided to change my approach, so I switched to a lot more expensive but more professional force resistive sensors. I bought those on AliExpress. One sensor cost me like $3.40, so altogether I paid like $13 or $14 for those. Plus my $4 Arduino, which makes it $17 or $18. And that's basically all the money spending you need to make this setup that I'm going to show you right now. So we can pretty much say that it's a $20 electronic drums, which is probably the cheapest electronic drums ever. And you can assemble it at home. And that's exactly what we are going to do now. So this is how this force resistive sensor is looking like. And its size is 4 centimeters or 1.6 inches. So I'm soldering two wires to it. The connection is looking like this. We have one wire connected to the 5 volts and the second one to the ground through a resistor and right between the FSR and resistor we are connecting another wire which is going to receive the analog input from this resistor. Then we are going to be needing some pads for hitting to simulate the electronic drums pad. I'm using the OSB wood for this purpose. And for the rubber pad, I'm using my old mouse pads. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference. Let's attach our sensor to the pad. Because this sensor is quite small, we need to find a way to increase its hidden space. And to do this, I'm using this piece of rubber and this plastic plate that I've got from an old flower pot. This is going to increase our hidden space, which is a great trick if you have a quite small sensors. Attach this rubber to the plastic pad and the plastic pad to the OSB pad. get back to the soldering. I have quite a lot of old electronics and I've unsoldered a bunch of different resistors. I've tried quite a lot of different resistors from 100 to 1000 ohm and I found out that with 1k you will get a very very sensitive sensor. It didn't work well for me so I've tried to decrease the 
resistors value and I came to 100, which worked perfectly. It's not too sensitive, but also you don't have to hit really hard to get the response. So yeah, you can try yourself to find a perfect resistor, but I'm using 100 ohm resistors. So I've soldered those resistors with the wiring I've showed you before and now I'm using this tape to attach our rubber pad to our drum pad so it won't slip if we hit too hard. Do the same to all of my drums. So now that we have all of our hitting surfaces assembled, we need some solid stand for all this drum set. You can either use some plastic pipes for watering, for other stuff, but I have quite a lot of old metallic pipes and I have my welding machine, so mine is going to be metallic. As the whole thing is going to be pretty big, I want those to be foldable, so I'm making this type of mechanism that will allow me to unscrew these two bolts and let me make it compact. Awesome, so everything is assembled together, everything is painted and the wiring is done. Let's take a look at my wiring. I have two wires coming from each of the drum and everything is going through the resistors to Arduino. But I think we are missing quite an important part of the drum set. It's the kick pedal. I have an idea how to make it quite easily. I have this old IKEA footrest. We actually had two, but one got broken and I'm going to use it to make our kick pedal. Yeah. Oh, this jam, she could take my sit. Baseline hit some more eight blinders. Buy me a whip, then I take my pick. Then I find me a chick, I can make my pull. Hey, darkness in motion. It's a 16 bar from the dark of the ocean. Flow penetrates, he goes with the dark and the broken. Meanwhile, in hell, smoking won't let me get my roaching. Been promoting the green and the pure as dirt. And please get vexed and they swear they work. On daytime, tell me what they blame. I'm using a button from AliExpress. It cost 35 cents. Make sure to use not a toggle button, but a hold to press button. That is going to be sending signals only as it's being pushed. Okay, let's connect it to our drum set. Now the wiring is looking even more messy. I have this box. We could try fitting all those guts into this box to make it a bit more satisfying to look at. And I've managed to do this. Let's connect it over here. So that's going to be our brain of the drum set. 